Yeah, so hi guys. So, you're welcome back again. Yeah. So I'm back on this site again. As you can see what is really going on here. What is going on? So I just want to take you guys through again. What I want to do today is we have some little discrepancies on on the pie position and the proposed building position. So I want to set out the proposed building position so that they can the clients and the consultants can come and see and check whatever they go to decide on. So I want to do some few setting out again. So you can see I've, I've asked him to go to the back side station. He's going there to set the the, the track and road there, the collector. So this is our total station. Yeah. So we are done here. I've said it earlier, since you've done your temporary adjustments, make sure your instrument is is leveled, is your laser light is at the center of the of the points so this tbm1 here the occupied station is tbm1 i have tbm2 towards the wall fence then he is going to tbm3 so i'm using both of them as my orientation just to check especially busy i'm using tbm3 for my orientation yeah so let's let's go so this is chcnav now you know i said it earlier the way this uh, these brand programs their total station the way they put their their description is a bit different from each other but once you have the idea of whatever you want to do on site at the surveyor so i don't think there is any issue about that like the way they name their, their their functions the way they put those functions the english the way they put them are, is a bit different from each other like the way leica program is zone the way chc and av program is zone so kia Topcon, uh, Tremble, all of them, they have different names, but still the same function. Still the same function. So we want to do some setting out today with, with this total station. So he has, he has placed the, I don't know if you can see it, at the back of this uh, big concrete. Yeah, he's already coming. So he has placed the back sides the track node at the back side station so what we're going to be doing is okay so let me go back let me go back to let me start afresh let me go back to okay so once the total station is set you've checked the bubble the two this plummet and this one you've checked it is at the center so that means you are good to go so once you just on your total station go to then the first thing is to create a file so you understand so you go to file this is file so i've already created the file for this job so you understand but if there is no file on it that means you have to create a file for the job that you want to do first so once the this one has the file is already there so i'll just press enter but once the file is not there that means you have to create a new file uh -huh. so you go to just press enter so the next thing is then you go to job so on this one you press menu you know this total session the way they put their things is different but once you understand what you want to do so it's a bit easier so this menu here so you press your menu button so you can see number one says data collection number two stakeout to the memory manager programs parameters stuff like that but what you want to do now what you want to do here is is setting out on say on Laker. They can call it setting out, but here now on this instrument they call it stakeout. So stakeout is the same thing as setting out. So you understand? So you just press two. Two. Enter. So you don't go to stakeout, which is also setting out. So first thing is you see number one, occupied point input. Number two, back side. Number three, layout point. Number four, side shots. So now that's english but once you understand what you want to do it's, it's a bit easier this occupied point means you should input the the point that you are setting your instruments that is the meaning of occupied point 
then back site means the your back site station you should input it so number three layout point is also me is also the same thing as setting out you want to set out unknown points that's the meaning of layout but this side shot means you want to pick a point you just want to know the value of that point you want to know the coordinate of that point so you just go there pick the point that's mean of side shots you just want to pick you want to observe some or informations so we are let's put the occupied points that is one you press one so this tbm1 that means you have to put the value of tbm1 on the instrument you know he's already there i've input it already so this tbm1 tbm1 the value is 711 the value is there already you've confirmed it you check your book again to confirm once it's okay you press what you press enter enter you said you should put heights you check if you are like me now if i'm doing if i want to do a topographical survey on this area i want to do, i want to do the xyz that means the eastern mountain and i want to get the height of all this area that means i must put i must use my tape put the height if you understand but now i'm not doing anything i just want to set out a point so i don't need to fix any height so you can just put any heights i decided to use 10 meter so you press enter now he's saying back sight. do you understand he's bringing back sight. set back sight. no or yes before you set this back sight, try as much as possible to make sure that your instrument is is directly facing where your back sight is you understand that's how i used to do it i will make sure that my instrument the total session is 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 by setting my tracking rod my reflector before i even press the back side at all so that's what i'm trying to do so if you look at it now i've locked it on on the back side station because one thing about total session is especially when it comes to coordinates stuff like this once you did not you did not back back sides you did not turn your instrument to the back side system before pressing the back side it might start your orientation from whatever is facing if it's facing this side now your back side is that was on that side and you press back side on this side that's where you're going to start the zone orientation that is where the azimuth will start from but it is very very good enough to make sure that you are facing your backside station you lock it there you've already by set everything clear your focus before you press that backside now is there now so i'll just press yes for my backside now he's asking for the value of that backside it's already on the instrument this tbm3 so but if it is not there that means you input it you just go to enter type the value there but now it's already on the instrument so this tbm3 7111135.8 381 5524568080. So you check with your file again, whatever is there, to make sure that you are still intact. Once it is okay, you press enter. You see what he's saying? He's saying horizontal readings. He wants to do it, he won't do your own calculation of reading now. So <coughs> press yes. Check back site. Yes. You no, know, sir, so I've already locked it on that angle. So every of the calculation that is because the instrument must surely do his own calculation he wants to calculate from here to that side the angle and the distance so that's why i make sure that i lock it on the back side system when he's doing all those calculations so there won't be any mistake he said the height what is the height of the reflector 1.5 you press is on 1.5 you press enter so now we are good to go hmm? press enter so you don't do your orientation like that but it is good to always check again do you understand so what i will just do is i can just go to side shots number four i'll go to four so i will just i'll press measure to to check again do you understand yes, so any value that it gives me i will now cross check with my tbm3 yeah. you cross check again if those error is minimal if you're having one mm two mm they are okay do you understand once you're having one mm difference two mm difference are okay but if it's close to five mm difference you know you have to try and adjust yourself you understand so this now is okay with what i have so then you are good to go make sure you always check with what you have because once you did not check if there is error you will not know you just be doing the wrong thing so it is better to check so once we have checked like this we are good to go so he's, he's saying should i save i'm not saving so i'll just press no so now i'll go back so now what i want to do is setting out so which is also the same thing as layout so i'll just press three you understand yes, sir. Yeah. so that is layout now you now put input the coordinate that you want to set out i've already generated those ones on my bring down my file 
so these recordings i've already generated them the edge of the building so what we just do is this building one building two building three building four so i want to set up building one first so you input the coordinates of building one you understand once you input the coordinates of building one you press enter it's action of the eye press enter so this chcnav you know i told you there's a way they put their english all of them they have different types of inputting their stuff now after that he's telling me f1 says distance n is z okay take this one f1 is what distance no f2 is n is z that is nothing eastern and height the z is height whenever you see n is z it means nothing eastern and height some people do sometimes they used to use like xyz xyz is also the same thing as nothing eastern and height so f3 is saying guide f4 is saying backside but you see this guide is what you need this guide this guide means it's going to direct you to the angle of the point you want to set out so you just press guide and then some other instrument it might be a different english yeah so once you just understand what you want to do you know so you don't input the coordinates of where you are going the next thing is where it will direct you to where you will turn your instrument to the angle so you just press guide guide so you see what he's saying see where the arrow is going to the arrow is going to your right hand side with how many degree 89 degree 14 minutes 30 seconds so you just unclimb your foot your your vertical your horizontal screw then you turn it turn it make sure you are turning it turning it till you get zero zero everything must be in zero your degree zero zero your minute zero zero your second zero zero So once you are closer, you just lock it, then you use the slow motion screw. So this, can you see it now? So we have zero, zero degree, zero, zero minutes, zero, zero seconds. So we are good to go. You understand? So it's okay like that. You lock your instrument. The instrument must not shake from that angle. Once you are doing your setting out, and you are now the one that will now direct your chain man, the person that is carrying the reflector. You are the one that will direct him, okay, move to this side, move to this side, on that same direction. So you just press measure. Once he is there, once the person is there, on that direction, just press measure. So once you press measure, it will now bring some stuff for you, okay, arrow up, arrow down, one arrow will face up, one arrow will face down. You need the second to the last arrow. That is one that will direct you. Maybe the person is going back or is coming closer to you. So check all of I observe again till you get that till you get to zero zero distance. Your distance must also be zero zero. That means you've gotten to the right spot where you are going to. So that's that's everything about setting out. Alright.